Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back into another video. I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible. And today I'm teaching you guys on how you can separate all of your little apps and music players, games, all of those different apps that you might be using on Windows, but they're in own individual audio bars similar to this, right? This one is for my microphone. Um, you can't see here it right now moving because I wasn't connected, but there you go. So now you see my voice going up and down and you should be able to do the same thing with applications. Now, if you have went through the auto setup, you'll have one bar for the entire Windows sound, right? Anything that goes, that's what's going to show there. We're going to be listening to music on Spotify. We're going to be listening to our friends on Discord. We're going to be listening to the gameplay sound. Everything is going to be in the same bar, but maybe you want to control some higher than the others. Um, maybe you want to put filters into one of them and not the others, and you can't really do that. And in the last case scenario, you also want to record and have everything separated so that if, for example, if you have music, it's not together with the gameplay audio so you can actually remove physically the audio of the music and you can also make it louder you know not louder than the game whatever you are planning on doing and in order to do that we need to disable that exact part now if i'm okay there we go okay if if you have sort of the same thing as me you'll go to settings you'll go to audio and then the desktop audio will be one of your devices right so you'll disable that that's the first step for us to start messing around with all the audio um if you have the most recent obs version you should have something like uh let me just see here i don't remember the name application audio capture beta bit beta better whatever you guys want to call it i don't really care but this one will essentially create an extra source and we can put here gameplay audio or just let's just put game because it's only going to allow you to select one of things. And for example, I had here Subnautica Below Zero open on purpose just so we could have it here. Um, right now it's not doing any sound. It should be doing sound now. But for some reason it's so low that it's not capturing. But regardless, now we have a separated audio track for our gameplay. We still need to set this up depending on what are you going to do, if it's streaming or recording or both. But we'll get to that in a second. Now we want, for example, let's say, um, I don't know, our music. And we're going to select our Spotify here. Boom. And now you have a bar for music as well. You might want to put it a bit lower for your stream, but maybe not for you or maybe for recordings sakes. You want everything around here in the same spot. Uh, and then you'll just post production, Sony Vegas, um, Adobe Premiere, whatever you're using. You'll just control the sound up and down. Maybe you want to capture it in max possible so you don't have to amplify it and then distort it. Um, because it's always easier to just lower it down than actually make it higher. Um, but that is completely up to you. You have to decide that in the end. And we'll get into that just a second. But as you can see here, the more I add in this one here specifically only allows me to put one at a time. So which means if I have 10 different games that I record slash stream, I'm going to have to have the either 10 different sources of audio for these 10 different games or I'm going to have to physically every time I change games come here and change it. But I found a solution and may I say this is even better than this one that I'm presenting to you right now. Um, it is very similar. It's exactly the same thing. It creates no problems at all and all you need to do is just download this. I'll leave the link in the description. You just need to go down here into assets, download the one that says setup. And once you have it, install it, restart your OBS, you'll now be granted this new application audio output capture. And this is very similar to what already exists with OBS, but with a very massive difference. And in my opinion, a very, very good one. Um, if you want to have like 10 different games, right? We'll just name this games instead of game because you can add multiple different things can add for example subnautica below zero uh, here it shows steam because i have steam open obviously i don't want the sounds from steam unless you are listening to maybe like a video from a game page and you want that sound to be there you're gonna add that executable there as well um, maybe you want to add i don't know you're playing a guy on firefox or google chrome whatever you use and now you have three different sources three different apps in the same source so 
this is much better than the one that comes with OBS, right? All you need to do is click OK. Just make sure that whenever whatever sources you need to put in there, you just press the add executable. It's a, it's a rookie mistake, but it happens more than you can think of. And don't put this on, otherwise you'll be doing the complete opposite. You'll be capturing everything except for whatever is here in the list, okay? And you want, if you want to remove one, just select it and then delete it. That's it. You press OK, you'll have it here. As you see, now I no longer need here the one from OBS. We can ignore that. Uh, We're going to delete the one from music as well. Let's say, for example, I listen music from two different sources. Let's say that I listen music from my Spotify uh, and also uh, my Firefox, which as you can see here, my Spotify is not showing up. This is great because I needed to show you this sometimes. Um, you might not see here the application you want to add. All you need to do, just close this down and put something to play in it so that it, it starts doing sound. And after that, you just click it again and you search for it and now it's there. Add, add executable, boom, done. You'll see now that it has music right there. You can't hear it on, on the recording because I don't have it like that, but you see here, now it's playing. Um, just stop that here really quick and boom done all right so we're now controlling the musics all in one single bar we are controlling all our games in one single bar independently of how many games we'll just add every single time that we have a new game in there and they'll be fun and easy to do you'll have like uh let's say you have this is a very rookie mistake as well because people don't understand how exactly this works and it can be very complicated but let's just say that you do have sounds of your notifications popping up here you know, little browser notification per X person just followed. Right. So you'll have that sound playing here for you, but you won't have that sound playing for the stream because we're no longer capturing the entire sound that goes into your headphones or your speakers, right? We're no longer going to a device. We're going individually, which eat each app. So you do, you know, you do want to set things up now before we even proceed, because this is starting to get a bit clouded here, crowded here, right? You see here, I already have my game capture. I have my camera, my watermark, uh, my camera frame, camera, cam, camera frame. Sorry. You also have the notifications. You might have other uh, browser sources and so on. So instead of having everything just starting to cramp up in here, Here's a little tip for you, and this works for both the OBS plugin and this one that I showed you already where to download. You're going to create here a new scene on the left, and we're going to we're just going to call it uh, audio scene. Boom, done. And don't add anything here but your audio scenes. All right. We're just first of all, we are recreated too. So we're just going to do the existing ones, every single one of them. Uh, let's put uh, yes, that's what I, the one that I wanted to bring this up. Um, so new, let's put OBS, and in here we're gonna add OBS. And the reason for why I'm adding OBS is because sometimes you'll might have some plugins that will be doing sound coming from OBS, like the notifications browser source, right? And you want that to go to the stream, so you're gonna have to have this here. You'll you can mac, mix and match. Uh, with maybe like for example i don't know browser and we're gonna add spot not spotify sorry firefox and for example you'll have all of these one here separated uh, i do recommend the vertical ones not the laying down ones because it's it occupies a lot more space it's a lot more organized and now that we've done that we can pull this all the way down here to where it doesn't bother us i can delete these here because i've uh, recreated them on this audio scene but we're never going to here unless we want to change something. And if you want to change something so that people don't just stop seeing your game and so on, I recommend doing in the studio mode because whatever you're doing here, it won't change what people are seeing. Um, but uh, all you need to do now is you go into, for example, for my main scene, I want all of those audios. So what you're going to do is you're going to add in your sources a scene. Wow, I know, right? That's crazy. But there you go. Now all the audios are there with just one single source. That's amazing. Now, as for starting soon, let's say that I, you know, you only want your, uh, let's say your music 
you don't want your OBS not maybe you do want your OBS notifications to play you want to have here also your browser source here for the notifications and there you go so now you have music playing while you're in your starting soon screen and your OBS notifications as well you'll do the same thing you just reg you either if you want one that you already created you just come here and go to existence if you want every single one of them that it's available on audio scene then I recommend adding this scene I don't recommend adding the scene to every single one of them because maybe you don't want let's say your gameplay to be playing when you're on the be right be screen right be right back screen um, so you only add here what you want like for example your music and if you add the scene uh, whatever you change, it's going to happen on all other scenes. So for example, let's say I mute here my gameplay audio. You see here is now gray and I've turned that off. If I go here, it's also there. So yeah, I don't recommend using the, putting the audio scene in a place that you don't want all of your audios if that's your plan, okay? Just individually add whatever you want. Your main scene, maybe you want every single one of your audios there. So there you go. Whatever you do here, you're controlling remotely from this scene without the need of having to go there. And now finally, we have to go into two more setups, two tiny little setups, very, very fast. Now, what I'm going to recommend here is we're gonna go here into advanced audio properties. What I recommend is always leave the number one, whatever single thing that you want to be on a stream. Let's say that you want your, oh, I forgot an audio source here, a very important one too, this one. And there you go. So and now we also have our Discord so people can stream, hear your friends on stream. Now, if you want, for example, you can have this muted. You can still listen to your teammates, right? And there's a trick into order that if you're recording and streaming at the exact same time, you can have this as a physical recording, but stream doesn't listen to them. So maybe, you know, they're not going to be saying no N words or anything of the sort, um, which is if you go into advanced audio properties on usually what I recommend is using audio track number one for streaming only. OK, so in here, you're going to leave whatever you want for your stream. That's it. Um, there's another video coming up in the future, which is for essentially uh, how to play non copyrighted co sorry, copyrighted songs on your streams on Twitch. This is only for Twitch without having any DMCA strikes. Um, but for that, the trick is that you have to leave number six here available for that. If you want to see that video in the future, it will also be uploaded shortly. But for now, we're just going to be focusing on divi dividing your soundtracks all your app tracks and and so on for both streaming and recording all right so if you're just recording then ignore the entire one track or where everything is together but i recommend because you maybe one day you're going to be like oh yeah you know what I'll, let's stream today all right let's do a, a stream test instead of having a whole new setup you just use both setups at the same time so i recommend using number one for streaming if you don't want people to listen to your friends on discord there and you're going to be recording at the exact same time that you're streaming so you can at least have some proof that they spoke and what they spoke and you have a physical copy of it and this is the way to go but let's say that you do want people to listen to them in the stream so okay we're just going to leave all of these open um, make sure that if you're putting music into your stream if you want to play copyrighted songs like i said wait for my other video if you're on twitch at least if you're not on twitch then it's not going to be much helpful but uh you know just make sure that you're not playing copyrighted songs into youtube and such you're going to get copyright strike club copyright claim whatever you want to say so what i recommend is my microphone always be at number two and we disable every single thing what this means is that there's going to be an audio file right in if you're doing a recording this audio file you will select whatever tracks we want in there uh, but I usually only recommend having two, three, four, and five. And then the number one I use for streaming and the six for the non-copyrighted version of the of the stream, right? So that I can have, for example, let's say no music on that. But like I said, that will be for another video. So two for microphone from then on, we'll put gameplay on number three alone. The gameplay is right there, number three. Uh, and then you decide what you want on the rest. Maybe you want your desk discord to be completely isolated and we'll go ahead like this 
and then let's say I want my music to be on the last one together with the browser. Maybe I'll listen to some music on the browser or I'll be, rec uh, you know, reacting to some videos on YouTube or such. So there you go. I'll have the browser and the music on number five. I won't have OBS on any of it because there's not really a point. I can have those notification sounds downloaded anyways, um, unless it's in like a TTS. If that's the case, then I would recommend maybe then clipping it from your stream or something like that. Um, if not, then just have it been here as well into OBS and it's sorry into the number five track. And there you go. Now we've divided. Number one is for stream. Number two is from our microphone. Number three is for my gameplay. My number four is for my, my my discord. And number five is for browsers, musics and OBS notifications. As for number six, like I said, leave it for the other video. Now that is set up. We just need to set up one final thing. We need to go into our output and our output must have to be it has to be on advanced right and on the first thing on streaming options you want to make sure you have number one so that all those things that were selected on track number one that will go into the stream as for options for streaming i i can do a video for that in the future i'm not really going to go through that right now right now we need to go here into recordings <clears throat> excuse me and as such we're gonna go here and the audio not sorry not the audio file but the video file that you're gonna have to select it has to be either mp4 or let me just see here something really quick apparently this one here matruska video mk mk mkv also allows you to have separate audio tracks. Notice that it's selecting number one. We don't want that because the number one is for the stream. So instead, I'm just gonna select all two, three, four, and five. Number one for streaming, number six for no copyrighted music. And there you go. Whatever vid video file you're using, usually I tend to use the hybrid MP4 or the fragmented MP4. There's tons of tons of tutorials out there that can explain which one is best for you. But whatever the one that is allows you to have multiple audio files, then will allow you to do something like this let me just go here right now and just get you your recording so these are some of my recordings uh let's go grab this one here right now oh it just crashed great what the hell is going on there it is okay so we have your um you can listen to it because uh, i don't have that set up set up on my obs but for example if i go into audio and then my tracks look at that we have multiple different tracks if i put this on sony vegas you'll see multiple different separate tracks and that's exactly where we're finalizing this is the entire purpose of this video is for you to have this option so not only did i just helped you on separating your apps and having only what you want available for your streams but also having them all separate by file by audio file for your streaming for your recording sorry in the last case also a little extra tip go into audio and select 320 for every single one of them okay and that's it like i said in the next video i'm going to teach you guys on how to do streams on twitch without any copyrighted strikes okay um as for now this is pretty much it this is what i wanted to teach you guys there's a lot more coming out um there's for example a tutorial that i want to do when you when you speak when your microphone goes high uh the other apps go low so that it never overlaps your voice for example that's another tutorial that i want to help you out with uh i also want to do a tutorial for what's the best options for streaming and recording um and for anyone who's wondering as to why i'm doing this instead of gameplay videos like i used to this is actually something i always wanted to do I just uh, had to focus a lot on video games back in the time when I was streaming and, and you know, when recording gameplay. <laughs> this way I can actually uh, focus on something that I uh, truly love, which is helping others and also software, streaming, recordings, edu video editing and so on. So, yeah, um, there's a lot more to come. There's a lot more ideas that I have in the list. But if you have any specific ideas or tutorials or tips that you need, uh, please, by all means, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Until then, have a wonderful time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.